Boom shakalaka. Hi guys, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and root Android P, the developer preview version on the Pixel devices. Let's go do this, baby. Okay guys, the big news today is that John Wu, the maker of Majisk, has released a new Majisk version 16.0 sorry, 16.1, that allows you to root Android P. Now, previous versions I've already tried, they do not work. Um, so long as you use version 16.1 and above, you should be good to go. The first thing you'll wanna do is obviously you'll need Android P um, developer preview. This should work on the new Android P also. And go ahead and download the latest um, version 16.1. I'll have links in the description. Also, you'll have to have Torp recovery installed I'll actually walk you through just in case you don't have that installed. All right, if you don't want to lose any of your data, this method won't erase any data. Make sure to turn off all the security, all right? So go ahead and turn off your fingerprint. Um, just leave it without security, all right? You can go ahead and turn it back on after you root. All right, set your security to swipe or none. I'm just going to set it to none, all right? Remove device protection. All right, if you don't do this, you're not going to be able to decrypt your data in Twerp. This way you don't have to decrypt it. All right, next go ahead and connect it as a disk drive. Um, go ahead and do the file transfer. Okay guys, um, if you don't have twerp recovery, um, let me go ahead and walk you through real quick. Just go to twerp.me. All right, this is the official twerp site where you can go ahead and download the latest version of twerp for your pixel. Um, go ahead and search for pixel and go ahead and find the pixel you have. Since I have a pixel to XL here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Um, go ahead and look in Americas and you'll actually have to download the latest IMG and the zip file, the installer. All right, the reason is that with the new pixels, um, you're not gonna be able to, there's no separate uh, recovery partition. We're actually going back to like Android gingerbread or something when we had recovery with the boot uh, image. So basically you're gonna have to boot it using this image and then install this using the temporary twerp that's booted i'll show you how to do this just download the installer for your pixel since i'm using pixel excel it's going to be timing and i've downloaded this all right go ahead and download that also you'll need um usb drivers if you're using windows uh, for mac or linux you can do it also on there you don't need drivers um, you can also do it on a chromebook but you'll have to install the adb uh, from the chrome app store um and that won't need drivers but go ahead and download the drivers if you're using windows um windows underscore zip all right that so that's twerp two files for twerp usb and also go ahead and download fastboot.zip all right go ahead and unzip both usb driver.zip and fastboot.zip and you'll get a um, folder called usb underscore driver with the driver files you need and also fastboot with the fa uh, fastboot files um, you'll need for flashing twerp all right um, go ahead and copy over the image file, the IMG, copy and put it into the fastboot folder, all right? All right, next go ahead and go over to your computer. If you want permanent twerp, um, go ahead and copy that over. If you don't care about it, um, you don't have to copy it, but I do recommend it. Also copy over Majisk 16.1, uh, copy and paste uh, into anywhere here in your internal storage or Pixel 2. Um, let's go ahead and put it into fast boot mode go ahead and power off your phone. And of course, if you install developer P preview, you've already unlocked your bootloader. That's what I'm presuming. So I'm not going to go through that. If you did not lock, unlock your bootloader, you should go do that first. All right. There's a lot of tutorials online. Um, or you can also follow my um, beginning part of my um, pixel root video, which also shows you. All right. Go ahead and hold down volume down in the power and wait till you get into this mode um this is the bootloader mode it should say unlocked here if you're not unlocked then you're probably not even on android p preview anyways this is only for those of you who've installed android p preview or maybe in the future you've installed android p all right go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro usb cable sorry usb type c cable and next we're going to go ahead and install the driver um, if you've never installed drivers for your Pixel yet, you'll have to install drivers. If you don't see Android ADB interface, go ahead and double click on the 
Android with exclamation mark, hit update driver, go to browse my computer for my software, and then go ahead and choose let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. I'll make sure you follow this step by step. Sometimes you do something else and then it won't install correctly. That's why I'm showing you step by step. I'm going to show all devices, hit next. I'm going to have disk. Go to your download folder and go into the USB underscore driver folder that you unzip all the files to. Go ahead and choose Android underscore winusb.inf. Hit open, hit OK. Choose Android bootloader interface, hit next. And that should be it, close, close and you should see Android bootloader interface. If you install the drivers, you're good to go. You don't ever have to install it again, so long as you use the same computer next time, you root, unroot, um, do various things. All right, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt. Go ahead and type CMD. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and type um, CD downloads, like that, hit enter, and go ahead and CD fastboot, hit enter. And you're gonna go ahead and flash the Torp recovery. Not actually flash it, we're gonna boot it since we can't flash it. So we're gonna go ahead and type fast boot space uh, boot space. Um, go ahead and type Torp and hit the tab key on your keyboard and it'll fill out the rest of the file name. All right, and um, go ahead and hit enter. And if you watch your phone, you'll see it's automatically booting. All right, you don't need your cable anymore. Everything you can do on your phone from now. First, I'm gonna show you how to install Torp Recovery permanently so you never have to use Fastboot again. Now, every time you install a new ROM or a new firmware, you'll have to reinstall the Torp installer. That's because Recovery Image is now also part of boot. Go ahead and go to install, and go ahead and go find the file you copied over, the Torp Pixel 2 installer, or for your Pixel installer, go ahead and confirm to flash. And with this installed, now you'll have permanent recovery. And you can go ahead and check this really easy simply by rebooting into Torp Recovery. All right, don't hit the reboot system. Go to Home and then Reboot, and you get the Advanced menu. Go ahead and hit Recovery. Do not install there, and this will this should reboot you into Torp Recovery. If it does, then now you have Torp um, permanently installed. So next time you install a custom ROM, um, you'll be able to not have to use Fastboot. Now, next time you install a ROM, make sure you install this installer after installing the ROM. Otherwise, you will again lose Torp recovery. All right, once here, you're gonna go to install. Go into your storage, which is SD card. Um, go ahead and choose the Magisk 16.1, flash, reboot, and you should have a fully rooted Android P uh, or Android P preview. And so long as Google does not change um, the general structure of Android P, which I don't think they will, this is the whole point of Android P preview, um, this root method should work just fine when the official Android P comes out. When that's done, reboot system, hit do not install. Um, if you removed your device security uh, after booting, go ahead and put your security back on, obviously. All right, and your phone will be back to encrypted. That's pretty much it, but we'll go ahead and check. It is working fully. All right, in your app drawer, you should see Magisk Manager. All right, don't have to install it. You don't have to install it. Don't install the new models. Um, 16.1, go ahead and try the safety net status. Um, it's not passing because this is an Android P preview version, um, which means it's not gonna hide root for you, unfortunately. But root should work just fine. And if you install Titanium Backup App, boom shakalaka, you get a super user request window. So you should now be able to use rooted apps. Now, if you wanna remove Magisk um, root, there's a Magisk uninstaller zip. You can also flash the same method, just boot into Twerp. Um, now it's permanently installed, so just go ahead and boot into Twerp and install the uninstaller and you'll be unrooted, all right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There you go. That's how you can um, root your Android P preview or probably Android P in the future. Have a great day and thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to the thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.